Welcome back everyone, Tina here. And in this video today, I'm excited to share with you that the whole task manager has a completely new user design as well as new functionalities. With advanced filtering options and customizable views, it has never been easier to stay on top of your game when it comes to your task management system. Let me show you what has changed and how you can set yours up for optimal productivity. First, click on contacts on the left and then select tasks at the top. And then here we go. This is your task management system. Now on the left, let's start with status. These are all great because that means they haven't been completed yet, right? Then you have the title, what happens here, the description, what needs to be done, the associated contact. You can also move those fields to read the full names. Then the SNA, which is the user inside of your system that got assigned to take care of this task, to due date and the actions. Down here you have two icons, either you delete a task or you can edit the task. Let's edit one, click on that. Then you can see here the title is this person opted into the webinar. So one of the sales reps is assigned to call this person and follow up. Okay. Now there is a specific due date we set prior in the workflows, but now if we wanted to change it, we could, for example, just change the time right here, 9 PM, for example, we could make it a recurring task, which we're not going to do. It doesn't make any sense for this particular task right now, but just so you know, you have the option here. Once you turn this on, you can say, Hey, this repeats every week, every day, every month, every year, every hour, and it ends never on a specific date or after this many occurrences. You can also then select to create a new task, even if the previous task is overdue. In this case, as I said, let's just keep this turned off. You can see the contact name again and then the SNA. Then you would just hit save and you can see the time here has changed from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. As you can see, it's marked in red as well because it says it's overdue by 12 days. Now at the top here, you can see that we've selected all the tasks, which is 370 in this count, for example. You can also filter through all of this data by just clicking due date today. If you just want to see what's urgent today, what needs to be done today, then you can see the overdue ones. And then you can see the upcoming as well, if there are any upcoming tasks, depending on how you set up your automation and what it is that you're managing, right? So for example, this could be, hey, bookkeeping every first of the month, send the statements to the bookkeeper or take care of the payroll, things like that. Okay, now let's go back to all. Right here, you can also filter by SNA who is responsible for the particular task. So if you just want to see the payroll people or the tasks for the payroll person, you just click this one. You would select that person, let's say Tina Demo in this case, and then it filters through all of the tasks and would show you the tasks that are attached to this particular user. None in this case, because it's just a demo account, but that's all right. Now let's remove that filter. Now you can also select by status. Now we have selected all. Maybe you want to see the completed ones or the pending ones. Now let's select completed. And here we go. There are a few completed tasks showing up. Amazing. Now let's X this out again. You can also filter by date. So when is the due date? When is the task due? Now it's set to any, but you can select any date of your choice. Let's say 23rd of January to 25th of January. You just want to select a time frame. hit confirm. And here we go. No tasks due during that time frame. Let's X this out. Now here you have advanced filters. If you click on that, you can search fields, let's say title, then only the title comes up, right? If you X this out, you will see all the options that you can filter by. You can filter by description, status, due date, associated contacts, SNA, created at or updated at. Let's say status, status is completed. Okay. And we want to add another filter, which is for example, Assign is any of this person. You can select multiple assignees, but let's say just say one person and that's it. You can add several more filters, right? You can select as many filters as you want, but let's keep it at that. Let's remove the last one. Let's hit save. And here we go. You can see all the completed tasks assigned to this particular person. All right. Now let's go back and remove those filters. Let's hit save again. And we're back at our 370 tasks. Then we have sort. Okay. If you click sort by due date, by created ad or updated ad, let's say title. Then you've seen a change right here. The titles have changed. If you click that little arrow here, it goes in chronological order. It starts with C, you can see here, then G and so on and so forth. Now let's clear that again. And another option is to search for the task title. Okay. If you only want to see opted in for the SOP webinar, for example, you would just type that and then it would show you all the people who have opted in for the SOP webinar. Nice. Let's X this out. Next up, you can manage those fields. Let's click on that. 
you can manage here what kind of fields do you want to show inside of this task table right so as you see we have due date marked assigné associated contacts and the description you can't uncheck the title status or the actions these are always there so let's say we just remove the due date just to show you for demonstration purposes and that has disappeared right here now click this drop down menu under other fields and you can add created ad or updated ad okay then more tasks information here is the due date that we've just removed let's hit save and you see the due date has been removed and you see the created ad and updated ad dates have been added so however it makes sense for your workflow here just go ahead and adjust your fields like that and manage your fields the way you prefer if you have several tasks for example that have already been completed and you just forgot to mark them as completed you can just bookmark them all here you see 20 tasks are selected you can then click mark as done or mark as pending or even delete all of them please note that if you delete any task they can be restored at a time frame of two months if it passes the two months then they cannot be restored now lastly let's add a new tasks manually you know all of these tasks have been created by our workflows but let's say we just want to add one manually just click add task add your title add your description when is it due the date and the time is it a recurring task in this case let's turn this off select the contact type the name and then it searches through then select the SNA and then hit down here you can either cancel you can save and add another task keep going with adding your task or just simply hit save let's hit save and remember we added demo task as a title so let's search for that demo task and ta-da here we go so it's due in one day it's marked as orange because it's kind of like before red like it's urgent you got to pay attention to this and that's really it and that's it already i hope you like the new user interface of the task management system and the new options to filter through data a lot faster and much more efficient thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video Thank you.